If you're developing an Unreal Engine 5, you've probably tried to put something like this together. It's a simple right-click drag. I hold the right mouse button, and this thing follows the mouse movements. I have a video on how to put that together if that's what you're here for, but I want to talk about a common problem instead. You see, you might have noticed if you've tried to do this, you can't do it like this. Instead, you have to double right-click which is completely unacceptable. Now in the video before where I teach you how to put this together, I mentioned that you can fix this with an input mode UI only node in your player controller. If that's enough for you, go for it. But that has some very serious downsides. When you set the input mode to UI only, you're turning off all of the game inputs, which might sound fine, but you might want some of those inputs, for example, the space button or E. I have E bound to rotate this clockwise. I literally can't do that if I'm in UI mode only because the game inputs are turned off. So I needed to not do that. I needed to be in mixed mode and I was having a problem where I'd have to double right click and I was just going off the wall trying to solve it, and I finally solved it. So here's, here's what it is. The issue is that we want the mouse hold. We've got the right mouse down, and then we've got the mouse hold, and then we've got the mouse up. In a normal situation, in a default Unreal build, when you right mouse down, it asks the UI if the right mouse down matters, and the UI doesn't care. It's not built to respond to a right mouse down. The game world is. So the game world immediately activates, locks your mouse down because it thinks you're trying to turn the camera. So you don't even get the mouse move events because the mouse is now locked and it's trying to parse it as a camera axis motion. Now when you right mouse up, that turns into a right click which the UI does respond to, and that gives it focus, which means that your next right mouse button down, as long as it's pretty quick, will trigger on the UI's space. So there's a couple of ways around this. One way around this would be to change how your character pawn works so that you don't have that problem. But an easier way to fix it is to make your UI layer care about clicks, care about mouse downs. So all I did was go into my UI layer, find some big thing, and say, hey, every time anyone gives us a mouse button down, we're handling it. Meaning that we keep it from bubbling down into the game layer. Now, we don't do anything with the mouse button down. We don't care about the mouse button down. What we want is the rest of the mouse movement that happens between mouse button down and mouse button up and this gives it to us. So this is the solution. This is how to avoid the double right click problem. Have a nice day.